Uh, this is a follow-up video to the first video I did on this um, big club, which is pretty much a scam. And I'm going to talk about some of the people uh, running it and the promoters, who are also con artists. Uh, the three people who basically sucked me in um, to this investment. If I had known how bad it was, I never would have joined up and I never would have signed up anyone else. So uh, I'm going to talk about these people um, and I'm, I'm reporting the whole thing to Interpol as well because fraud has been committed and fraud is when you use um, dishonest uh, dishonest information or practices uh, in, in financial terms to gain an advantage you know, by telling people lies and so on. So this is the first con artist, Kiera Frankica. Um, I saw her big club videos on YouTube and um, I decided to sign up and um, uh, I had a Skype with her, and uh, here's just some uh, evidence of that. And look, I, I said, look, what's I, I need to know what the returns are. And she said it was point thirteen. It was thirteen point eight one percent of a Bitcoin. She wrote ETC. It's actually BTC, uh, which is point one three eight a month, and that was a lie. Um, you can look at other people's videos when they do, they go through spreadsheets and all that stuff. It was actually about um, 0.06 or 6%. So I was lied to and that is that is a crime has been committed and I'm re reporting it to Interpol. I was given this spreadsheet. I, this is not officially from the BitClub um, network or anything, but I didn't know what all these numbers were. I wasn't in BitClub. Um, but basically, this is the crux of it here. 13.26 of a Bitcoin uh, per month per one founder's share, um, which is basically three pools. There's three mining pools you go into, and the founder's position gets you a share in all, all of those three, plus a few other shares um, in something that looks like it's a, turning out to be a dud as well. Um, so it wasn't even 0.138, it was 0.132. Um, in actual fact, it was about 0.06 or something like that. About 0.06. It was about half, less than half or about half. Uh, that's a pretty big difference. And um, this is what she told me. And I ended up signing up because of this information. And this information was a lie. And um, I was really mad about it. And um, uh, I messaged her on Facebook because we were friends on Facebook. And um, here's what um, here's what I here's a bit of um, dialogue we had. But I said here, you told me the returns were 0.138 Bitcoin a month. In reality, the returns are way lower. I don't even think I will make back the same amount of Bitcoin I put in. BitClub is a bad investment, and you are flogging it like it's great. This is not the right thing to do to people. And I wrote that on the seventh of December. It was seen. There you go, right down the bottom there, scene, 8th of December. Um, no response. To this day, I haven't got a response. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't mind, um, you know, I don't mind marketers, but when you're using deceptive tactics or you're deliberately lying to people, then you're a low-life bottom feeder, really. Um, it's as simple as that. And um, she's not really doing uh, big club videos by the looks of it. Um, but I'm reporting it to Interpol anyway. Uh, there's a few down here. Uh, how I scammed people about how I generated 800 bucks through scams. Yeah, and how much mining returns do they make? Uh, I'll go. I'll go through the mining returns a little later in this video. This person was also flogging um, uh, um, BitConnect as well, and it was well known that BitConnect was a scam. And um, I'm going to show you her some of her videos. Yeah. Let's slow that down. Yeah, see? Big Connect review after 70 days. Pumping this thing. Um, you know, making money off other people's expenses from a Ponzi scheme. And she deleted her videos. She deleted her videos um, from YouTube out of shame. Just like all the other Big Connect pumpers did as well. And uh, I saved one here, BitConnect, see? And she was flogging it, and she was signing up people. 
and uh, I just want people to know what this person's really like, the con artist. Anyway, uh, this person had mentioned to me when she, um, when I was talking to her about Big Club, that uh, she didn't even know what Bitcoin was when she started Big Club. She smelt a good pyramid scheme and a chance to, you know, basically milk money off other people, and she went for it. She'd also mentioned to me that she'd been a part of other schemes that had collapsed, and uh, and you know, I wonder if she even refunded people their, you know, the commissions she got off these people, you know, that that were left holding the bag. Um, probably not. Um, this person's a bottom feeder, and uh, and I have no respect for people like this. Don't be fooled by the copious amounts of makeup. Um, yeah, get a real job, get a real skill, because you know, doing these shitty pr promos on the internet and lying to people, that, that's not a real job or real skill. Here's the next parasite uh, that I'm going to talk about, Sean Logan. Um, this is the guy I actually signed up under and I Skyped with him and um, I asked him what the returns are and he refused to tell me. He said, well, you know, because of the hashing variability, blah, 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 you know, you can't really tell, which is a lie. What he really, really didn't want to say is how bad the returns were, because that's all BitClub is about, is it's about the mining returns. And I'm expected to believe that this guy doesn't know what the mining returns are. So he committed fraud by deliberately withholding information from me. And I've reported this scum sucker as well. Um, this guy's just another internet bottom feeder. He has no real skills or anything. Um, look at this crap. Um, laptop lifestyle, living off cryptocurrency and other people by sucking them into scams. He was also promoting um, Regal Coin, for example, which turns out to be a Ponzi scheme scam. Um, you know, signing up people so he could get a commission. Um, this guy's a parasite. It's uh, it's pathetic. It's just so sad. Like, why don't you just get a real qualification, get a real job? Um, you know, his, his videos don't get any views. Um, you know, I see he doesn't really do BitClub anymore because it's turned out to be a, a bust. Um, but he signed up a lot of people, including me. And I don't want to sound like too much of a victim. Um, I should have done more research. But, um, you know, this guy, uh, um, you know, I re really regret signing up with this guy. He's just a total maggot. Like, you know, no one watches this crap. 82 views, 112 views, you know, and he just goes through the internet finding the next sort of Ponzi scheme or something to pump so he can get his, um, you know, his next fix of of income. It's, um, it's pathetic. Here's a bit of dialogue between him and I after I signed up. Um, I said, hey, are your earnings quite down a bit at the moment? Cheers. That's when I realized that the, the returns were a lot worse than I was led to believe by Kiara and the next guy I'm going to talk about. And he said, and again, he lied. I'm on 100% reinvest, which is compound. So I'm not sure. So here's a guy who's signing up people for this, this big club mining returns. So he, and he doesn't know what the returns are. What a liar. So, um, you know, I just, these people are just, just, Dirt bags. Yeah. This bit's funny here. I had to laugh at this. Being your authentic self. Really, Sean? Ripping people off? Being authentic? You've got to be kidding me. But this guy is authentic. He's an authentic parasite. Dirt bag and liar. So, yeah, I, I really had to laugh at this. Uh, really funny. Being your authentic self. God. You might want to look up authentic in the dictionary as well. You might learn something. Loser. These are the last two. Um, oh, this guy on the left is the last dirtbag I'm going to talk about. He's one of the founders of BitClub. Um, and have a look at the following video clip from, from this. Uh, and that's the name of their criminal Chinese government crashes a cryptocurrency, whatever. It's actually mostly that most of the clip is actually interview from this guy. Have a look at the clip and then we'll talk about it later. Feel so, and I look at it like this, man. It's like we were all brought up with that whole story, the whole the goose that lays the golden egg, right? We all remember that story. Now, Bitcoin is the golden egg, and some people they just want to buy eggs, and next week they go back and buy some more eggs, and a month later they buy some more eggs. And I think it's smarter to buy the goose, 
that lays golden eggs. Bitcoin is the golden egg, BitClub is the goose. And that's how I describe it with people. Get a goose, forget about it, just put it on autopilot, that thing's just gonna generate you golden eggs day in and day out. You know, I mean, think about it. You buy a golden egg and you wait for 10 years and you come back 10 years later, you open up your safe and there's that golden egg sitting there collecting dust. Didn't, it, you know, it's just, it just sat there. I think it's smarter to put your money to work. If you took that same value and bought Bitcoin mining hardware from BitClub, by shares in BitClub, 10 years later, you're gonna have three, four, five, maybe six golden eggs sitting there. So what this guy said is you put in a Bitcoin, which is like the golden egg, and after 10 years, your Bitcoin is three or four or five or six Bitcoin. That's what he said. Um, so go back and listen to it again if you want. And there's no way that you putting in one Bitcoin at the time was 2017. There's no way that that could turn into three or to six Bitcoin because you'd have to reinvest all your profits until about you know seven, uh, seven years time, in which case you'd have no Bitcoin and just have a bit of Bitcoin mining hardware. Um, and then you'd have to start mining, you're actually mining the Bitcoin, um, taking the profits instead of reinvesting. I reckon one Bitcoin would turn into about 0.05, not even that. So this guy's lying through his teeth. And I went to the international police and they said, oh, look, because it's only in Bitcoin, it's not US dollars or Aussie dollars, um, you can't do anything. So... I'm so that's why these guys are so careful to only deal in Bitcoin and cryptos, you know, so they can skate and they don't deal in US dollar. They don't want US dollars because they'll, they'll be they'll be up in court in no time. And um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're just they're just liars and dirtbags. Look at this fat gut on this guy. It, and it, all the all the people who signed up in BitClub, they went to pay for this guy's private jet. That's what it all paid for. Um, only 40 percent. Of the money you put in only goes to mining equipment anyway. 40% goes into the pockets of other people like this guy. 20% goes to electricity. So you're only getting 40%. You know, um, it's pathetic. And, you know, that they said they were going to roll out tons and tons of hashing power and all this stuff towards the end of 2017. And they didn't do it for months and months and months. So they were lying again. They were taking people's money saying, oh, it only takes 30 days to roll out. Your, your purchased uh, hashing power, but it was taken like many, many, many months. So there were more and more people um, competing for the same amount of Bitcoin, which means everyone was getting less and less and less Bitcoin. And the returns went down and down and down. And the returns are so bad now that, uh, uh, that they've got a pause option, which you can just stop mining altogether. Um, but I might as well keep going because the, the returns are only going to get worse. You can see on btc.com how bad the returns are. Um, this has been a total dud investment. I'm really disgusted by this guy. I don't like this maggot either, Simon Black. He, he, he was signing people up too for a big club account. Um, I kind of used to think it was okay, but nah, you, you just can't rip people off. And the, the, the main thing right now in these crazy times is you've got to keep your spiritual integrity. Don't lie, don't rip people off, don't engage in crime or anything. You know, Don't invest in any scams. If you inadvertently you know, do accidentally, you know, sell people a faulty product or anything, give them a bloody refund. Work with them. Refund their money. Say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. No, I was on a mistake. Here's your money back. No problems. No real feeling. That's the way to do it. Um, but no, not with these guys. You, you know, no refunds. Your money's long gone. Um, yeah, it's it's pathetic. Um, this guy will... His karma will be his taskmaster. By the way, I, I forgot to mention, um, I put in a total of four Bitcoin um, and my mining is going to run out this, uh, probably in about eight or nine months or something. I'm probably going to get back to about 0.7 of a Bitcoin. Yeah, it's been, it's been an absolute disaster. So if I had taken those four Bitcoin and done the opposite of what this guy had said, and just put them in a safe and let them get, get, uh, gather dust, I'd still have four Bitcoin. But as it, as it turns out, I'm going to have about 0.7 of a Bitcoin. And there's tons of BitClub recruiters that will tell you that's that's a, that's a really good investment. They'll try and twist it. To, well, if you convert it to US dollars, you know, it's going to be more money than what you originally put in. Yeah, but if I, yeah, I'd, have, I'd have more than quadruple my money. I'd have almost six times my money if I'd not gone into BitClub, you idiots. 
So, um, yeah, there's a guy called Herc Magnus that um, he, he was in it and he did a few reviews and you could see, I think he started at the start of 2017 by one of his reviews and he put in 11 Bitcoin. I think he's probably going to end up getting back about four or five. Yeah, you, you can see that the returns each day just get lower and lower and lower as other people like um, at the top of the, the hashing power tree get, um, you know, roll out more and more um, uh, hashing power. This is btc.com and it shows who's getting the, the, the uh, who's mining the blocks. Yeah, not Big Club, that's for sure. Um, and here's the hashing power. And these guys are killing it, whoever these people are, and Ant Pool, and it shows the hashing power. So these are the people that are most likely to get the Bitcoin um, reward for mining the blocks. And um, these losers were, I, I don't know, four or five hundred when I first started, and they were they were supposed to be rolling out like over a thousand, and it basically never happened. They were lying. Now they're getting slaughtered by all these these guys. It's get, get, getting annihilated. This shows the annihilation happening with BitClub. You know, um, this was taken, was this, just the start of 2018. They had, what, 385 petahashes. And what is it now, 857. But you look at this, 3,900. That's up to 12,400 now. Ant pool, 8,400. Up another, what, 4,000, 4,500 petahashes. This Fire BTC, uh, 2,400. They've doubled it as well. Um, slush pool was 2,250. Now they're 5,508. They're just annihilating Bit Club. Um, Bit Fury 3,100. Previously was 533. They knew how to get the job done. So Bit Club's going backwards more and more and more. Don't believe the, the BS videos where they're saying, oh, we want to take over the world. That's what Ross Medlin said. We want to take over the world with our hashing. It's not going to happen. You're not going to beat these guys. In fact, not only are you not beating these guys, you're getting annihilated by these guys. Um, <laughs> it's pitiful. Anyway, don't invest in BitClub.